U.S. stocks rose on Friday but still logged their worst weekly declines since the height of the pandemic. U.S. equities are down 10 of the last 11 weeks. That's the first time since 1970. However, the Dow has now had 11 down weeks of the last 12. This has never happened before. It's all a result of the economic slowdown that has been brewing for months and months. And now, there are fears of a more significant downturn. And this comes after the recent CPI report that showed inflation remained at multi-decade highs. With that CPI reading, the Fed has now turned even more aggressive, starting with its first 75 basis point interest rate hike since 1994. With that rate hike, there's a greater potential for a slide in economic activity. Just look at the numbers coming out of the real estate sector. And Fed Chair Powell reiterated that the central bank remained focused on returning inflation to the Fed's 2% objective. So remember, there are 12 more rate hikes priced in from here. Good luck, investors! With the recent rate hike, the S&P 500 is about 24% below its January 3rd record closing high. But stocks still likely have further to fall if history is any indication, because when a recession does materialize, if it does, bear markets for stocks tend to deepen. So, with all this upbeat news, let's take a look at the gloomy charts. Two charts to look at today, beginning here with the 20-year monthly chart on the Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index, the ETF, and the symbol is ONEQ, and this serves as a decent proxy for the NASDAQ. And as you can see on Friday, the close was 42.21. So from this top here, right before the end of the year, we've come down quite a ways, all the way down here, pretty fast, pretty hard, just below that 50 EMA. Now, it looks like it's a pretty straight line, but it's not, and we can have some rallies and some valleys. But as we can see here in the oscillators, we're going to pass up volume, doesn't really show us much, but here into the MACD, large separation between the slow line in red there and the fast line in black here. And that separation means almost anything can happen. But I'm going to be looking for more downside because I think stock market gravity has taken hold and it is heading on down. But we can also have some volatility and some sideways trading. But I'm still sitting on the sidelines. Moving down here into the histogram, you can see that things came on down and they headed down pretty quickly. We don't see any real signs of bottoming and basing. At least in that oscillator, you're not going to see it there in the price rate of change. Again, a huge separation between the fast line and the slow line. Same thing here, the RSI, a relatively weak 27.24. I think this is going to head down to that oversold territory, perhaps like it did in 2008, 2009. We're not far. And here into the stochastics, pretty much the same thing. Large separation between the fast and slow lines, meaning we're likely going to head down, or certainly there's a lot of weakness. Now, into the Williams. Williams has hit a bottom here. We did have a bounce, but we're back on down here. We're at a very weak negative 97.18. So, moving back here. Basically, the important things to take a look at are first of all certainly that chart says a lot and then the MACD also says a lot we have more downside now let's go take a look at the next chart and this next chart here is the two-year weekly chart on the volatility index or the fear gauge and as you can see in the upper left, the symbol is dollar sign VIX using stockcharts.com. We keep coming back to this chart because I think it is extremely important. From that top here, we came down, bottomed and based here over a number of months, and then we turned up. And as you can see, in that turn up, these bottoms are higher 
each time. And we had another turn at that point in there, and we came on up here. But we're still only at 31.13. The problem that I see is this trend line here is curving on up. And you can see at the top here, more or less, I think this is a horizontal line somewhere around that 35 level. So the evolution of this is moving toward a pinch point. And this cycle gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And soon enough, it's going to pop. It's going to pop either up or down. If it pops up, that means the stock market is going to have a sell-off. But if the VIX pops down, then the stock market's going to have a rally. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I think the probability is that we're going to get to this pinch point and the VIX is going to head up, which means the stock market's going to head down. So I'm on the sidelines collecting my cash, stacking that cash, because if that happens, if the VIX heads up, the stock market heads down, there's going to be a lot of blood in the street and a lot of good deals. I'm looking for a sale on stocks. Now, if it doesn't happen, I'm still going to sit on the sidelines for a while because we do potentially have a recession coming sometime. And I think we know that we're going to have more rate hikes. And those rate hikes are going to continue to pressure the economy. And the economy is going to pressure the stock market. So I'm going to wait and watch. And that is also my suggestion for you viewers. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.